Before you were born, God has been working out a purpose for you. And now that you are living in time, God is still in the business of making out things out of nothing. Making out great results out of things that nobody has ever thought something can come out of. It is true, you do not have a name that will influence your way into the name. It is true that you do not have a voice that will speak for you, because everyone that is around you has not done it for you. They have left you all to yourself for you to struggle and go through the pain of doing it yourself. Anyway, that is not really bad at all, but it is a sign that you have to go to the right source of help and support. God is always there to help you if you come to the Lord. God is always in place, giving you grace and the support that will make your life extraordinarily great. God is always ready to lift you up above your struggles and your limitations in life. You have known this now, the power and the plans of the Lord for your life. What are those things that you have tried to do that have not been working for you? What is the career that you are trying to build that is not giving you that result and not progressive the way you want it to go? That marriage that has become a battle square for you, that you have not known peace, no happiness, no joy, and nothing is working for you in it. There is nothing you have not done to revive the love and the affections that has brought you and the bond you have together. But. No matter what you do, the situation seems to look more difficult to handle. Your life is like the devil's workshop, where he works out all his plans and sets it out for the world to see how far you have failed in life, in academics, in finance, in business, and everything that you so venture into is always working against you. You are about to give up on your dreams and your life. You have prayed all manner of prayers and done everything that is in your power to do, but nothing is changing in your life. There's no sign of improvement, no sign of blessings coming your way. Your courage is drained, your efforts are futile, and nothing seems good and interesting to you anymore. Now God is saying you do not have to give up now because He is not giving up on you yet. God is saying, everything that you are going through now is not for your destruction. It is not to make you feel bad or worse, and it is not to break you. Rather, God is allowing those situations to teach you the act of relying on God. God is teaching you to know that you do not have the capacity to do some certain things for yourself. So you have to always come to God for the blessing and for everything that you want in life. It is the Lord's intention to give you all those things that you want. It is the desire of the Lord that you live in good health and prosper, even as your soul prospers too. That is the reason God has not given up on you yet. God has not stopped working in you. God has prepared something great for you in the future and you are about to receive it from the Lord after the years of waiting and not fainting. It was the power of God that has given you that ability to stand and it faint in the long run of the whole things. If God has not given up on you, if God has not said it is over for you, why then do you think your life is going to end up like this? If God has given you the assurance that you are going to receive the blessings, if God has given you the promise of that promotion, of the expansion, promises of that marital blessing, the healing, and help out of that financial bankruptcy and debt that is about to strangulate the life out of you and you on your own, trying to see how you will end things by yourself. You want to end it. You want to give up and stop trying. When God has not told you to stop, when God has not given up on you yet, why do you want to give up when God is still interested in you? Your life is the point of attraction of God because He has made you 
to be a great substance among many other people. Among your peers and in the congregation of people, God wants to make you to stand out and give you that honorable name that everyone in the society will respect. Not just that alone, God has not given up on you because there are potentials in you that He wants to reveal to the world so that you will bless the world with it. God has not given up on you because the purpose of your life has not been accomplished yet. What you are seeing about your life now is not what God is seeing about you. There is an expected end that God has prepared for you at the latter days of your life. That is the reason God has not given up on you and you are not supposed to give up on yourself. You are not at this point given up on your dreams and your destiny. Everything is going to begin to work well so. Have you forgotten that your Redeemer lives and will not disappoint you on any things? Have you forgotten so easily that the thought of the Lord has for you is the thought of good and not the thought of evil, so that you will always have that celebrated end? If you are not there yet, you do not have to stop working until you get there. If you have not received that answer to your prayer, then there is no need for you to give up because God has not given up on you yet. There are brighter days ahead of you. There are blessings coming your way. You have entered into your new dawn and the days of blessings are here for you. The promises and the prophecies upon your life are about to manifest now because your time has come. It is the time to favor you. It is the time to deliver you from every bondage and weaknesses that have held you back and down. When it was the day of the visitation for Jacob, the angel came around and Jacob, understanding the time and the season that he is into, he contended and in the end he prevailed and his news was changed from whom he was before to whom God wants him to be. A nation was made from him and generations have been blessed through his faith and non-relenting attitude towards life because he said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. You have come to your day of the blessings. You have entered into that season of breakthrough. You have entered into that season of blessing and life in abundance. If God has not given up on you, you do not have any reason to give up on yourself too. Everything you are doing is going to be blessed and your blessings have come because God is changing things in your life now. You will stand on your feet and say the same thing that Jacob said, I will not let you go. I will not give up on you and on myself unless you bless me. I will not stop working unless you bless me and give me all the desires of my heart. You will stand by those same words now and let God be your helper now because the blessings that God has released to you, you need such faith to access and receive them all. You need more of that faith and beyond your capacity to activate that blessing. Do not worry about your tomorrow because your tomorrow has been settled by God today. Don't let your heart be discouraged Never let the opinions of people about you affect your thinking and the way God sees you. They say negative things they know about you. Wrong history that is making people feel it's not going to be well with you again. Never let them affect you anymore because God is changing it for you right now. Those that call you a failure and irresponsible will see what God is doing in your life and they will come and celebrate you. For you have come to the days of abundance. The blessings that God has promised you are about to manifest in your life right now. The promotion that you have been praying for, the fruit of the womb, the financial increase and business expansions, 
the good life and peace of mind that you have been praying and asking God to give to you. You are about to receive them all now because God has released them all to you. You are going to testify and your life will become a blessing and the light to many others who are still looking up to the Lord for the help and everything that they want. You will be an inspiration and means of motivation to many others that will come to you. Many will receive from the well of your blessing that God has poured out to fill your life now. And you will know that God has not really given up on you those days that you think all hope is lost and nothing will become of you again. Because now your days of blessings have come.